To show the improvements in 3D router pocketing, I want to start by showing you a part that's tooled in SigmaNest. On the left side of this part, there's a partial depth pocket that shares a boundary with the external contour. We chose a quarter inch tool and that was influenced by the external geometry and the result of that is five passes just to clear that pocket. If I open up this same part in our 3D interactive mode, I can use our new pocketing feature. Uh, I'll do this with manual pocket first. So if I open up manual pocket, there are three different options. There's smart extension, block extension, and offset extension. I choose offset, offset extension first, and when I apply toolpath, the result is much more efficient. You see two passes, all done with my three quarter inch mill, and that's because we recognize that that external boundary doesn't need to restrict our tool selection. If I clear the toolpath, I have one other option to show you, and that's block extension or smart extension. Block extension essentially creates a minimum rectangle around that pocket, and then smart extension will choose the better of the two based on the ratio of scrap to part material that we are destructing. So you can see the result there is two rectangular boxes, very simple and much more efficient than what we were getting before.